Welcome to what is probably my favorite game of all time, if not one of the best games and favorite games of mine, um, Final Fantasy Tactics, a game that I have always wanted to play on the channel, but I've always kind of been like, why would I? It's very long, and people don't usually tend to like series on my channel, but you know what? I just said, forget it, we're playing it. So let's start Final Fantasy Tactics. If you've never played this game before, it's a tactical-based uh, Final Fantasy game um, that's very story-rich and character-heavy and um, combat-heavy. It's just, it's just, it's one of my favorite games ever. So I'm sure if you're watching this, you've probably played it or have some idea. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just, we're just gonna do it, okay? I'm gonna leave the characters the same because it just makes life easier, um, and you got to get the full experience. Um, so we're going to go, we'll just say, what's today? Uh, I've always gone with Virgo, and it seems to go very poorly. But I'm going to put my birthday in, because why not? There's this whole thing with star signs and the compatibility that goes on with combat. I could, I could go on about this game forever. And I will as we play it. But... I just... I don't even know what to say. I have spent hours upon hours playing this game. From the first time I played it, I still have the original disc somewhere in my house. Somewhere in this room that I'm in. I just had to find it. Um, I'm not playing the original disc. I am playing on an emulator, but that's all to say. I do have the original disc. So it's legal. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm questioning whether I want to actually just let this play or if we'll... If we'll... <laughs> these I usually... Okay. Well, we could sit there and watch that entire cutscene. It, you know. God, please help us, sinful children. This is, the text goes so slow. Sinful children of Ivalice. Princess Avelia, let's go. Just a moment, Agrius. Am I going to read all the text in this? Maybe. I would imagine that there's a full voiced version of this, right? Someone's done that already. Don't give Agrius trouble, please hurry. Agrius. One of my favorite characters in this game. What's been going on? It's nearly an hour. I'll be rude to Princess Gafgarian. It's gonna there are so many names, so many characters. Just get prepared. Is this going to be alright, Agrius? This is an urgent issue for us. So there are rude names, even among the Hakuten. I'm being more than kind to the guard captains here. Besides, we're mercenaries hired by the Hokuten. I'm not obliged to show respect to you. What? How dare you? Let's go, dude. Seeing all this and knowing what's coming, like, you know, I can't ruin I just I already just want to go off and just be like, here's what's happening, and here's a, you know, I can't do that. But let's go get in our first battle. Princess, Prince Galtana's men. What one must do to make money. Ramza, you have a problem too? I'm no longer a knight, just a mercenary like you. Let's go. Time to whoop up on some folks. So I am Ramza, that is the main character. Ramza is the main character of this game. Some would say. God, the music slaps in this. I love this game so much. <laughs> I love this game so much! Press to the Black Lion. What's wrong with Prince Galtana? He's such an idiot. Does he want to start a war? Nay, there's no point in resisting. Just give us the princess, or that beautiful face of yours will be scarred forever. Only idi idiots attack head-on. Leave this to us. 
We can't make money that way. Here we go. Now we walk in place. So here's the combat of this game. Uh, you move on a grid. You have a certain amount of movement. You have certain abilities, attacks you can do. Right now it's pretty basic for me as Ramza. But these two in the front, they're about to show you what I hooked me to this game. Just this first battle alone. Go get him, Gafgarian. Here we go. This. I was like, I want to do that. Unfortunately, in this version, you can't. In the PSP version, you can learn those skills. But um, So I can move. I have uh, certain skills I can do. I can throw a rock. Do it. There's all kinds of stuff I can do. So I'm going to move. Um, we're going to move up here. We're not going to move all the way up. They'll come towards me. Um, I, I think there's a way to tell what these do. Throw stone at distant enemy. Okay. Okay. That only worked on one. Okay. Oh, it's going to give me plus one attack to accumulate. That's right. I'm going to have to remember what everything does here. So you get experience and you get job points. Experience is your level up. Makes you stronger. Job points are going to come in a little later when we're starting to change classes because this is similar to some other Final Fantasy games where characters can become different classes. So you have things like knights and squires and mages and white mages and calculators and summoners. It just... The possibilities are endless for how you want to play this game. There are strategies that maybe, you know, work a little better. Oh, he broke his damn shield. That's okay. This is a... Um, I'll go ahead and say this battle is the tutorial, um, and it is a flash forward, so um, this does not really matter right now. It's just kind of teaching you how to play the game. There's a couple of those fights. The first two fights, I feel like, are tutorials, and then after that, you get into the, like, okay, we're not holding your hand anymore, you know? You notice there also, you can use items. Um, you, to use items, you have to be standing next to the person you're going to use it on, unless you're a chemist. Chemists can throw items uh, across the map to uh, to heal people um, or do whatever, you know. Um, and the point of classes, I'm getting so just in-depth already. Um, as you change classes, you can learn certain things. So you can say, I can be a knight that casts magic or heals or, you know, casts time magic or whatever. Like, there's all kinds of things you can do, all kinds of combinations my favorite is to become a ninja and then get like double swords and then um, become a knight and just be super strong. There's just all this stuff you can do. God, I love this game so much. It's so cool. Okay. So we upped our physical attack. Let's go over here and hit this guy. How much are we going to do? 49. If we can get a crit here. Nah. Somebody will come over here and kill him. Yeah, Agrius, probably. Get it, girl. Oh, you're going to... Okay. Well, you can kill that guy. That's fine. Also, every once in a while, they do that. They say little lines before they cast spells or something, which is really cool. I love it. It's so cool. Also, you get bonus... Uh, you'll see here, and I'll show it if I get the chance to attack again. Um, we're dependent on where you're standing. Um and what skill you're using, you have a, you'll see, you see it real quick, they're like 100%. Um, depending on what skills you're using, um, it may not always hit. It gives you a percentage chance of the attack or skill or whatever actually hitting. So that will come into play much later. There's, later on you can get skills where like, depending on what kind of attacks are used on you, you block them every time. There's, there's, this game is so in depth. I just, I pray for the day that we get a remake of this. Like, if they made this into a, like, updated graphics version, like, with, like, cutscenes and, like, full, like, voice cutscenes and stuff, I'd lose my mind. You wouldn't see me for months. 
it's all I'd be playing. Literally, I, it's like I wouldn't. It's all I'd be doing. All right, dude, stop. Can these idiots stop healing each other? <laughs> I don't remember them healing themselves this much. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna go. What's this guy looking like? He's got 62. Here, they, yeah, you're dead, dude. So standing on the side usually gives you a boost and chance to uh, hit. And this early in the game, it's gonna be 100%. I think even if you're just standing in front of them. But if you if you move to stand in front of someone, there's a chance that you're gonna miss because it's you got to think about it tactically. Like you're you know if you fight somebody head on, they may be able to see your attack coming. So you got to think about that strategically when you're fighting in these combats as well. And it gets difficult. It gets difficult. Very there's some very hard fights in this game um, that make this game <laughs> frustrating. And it will take some time. I may have to like. So you saw 87% there. Like, I may have to take some time off screen to, like, you know, grind. And, like, make sure I can beat things. Because um, there are a few fights in this game that are, um, how would you say, not fair, I think would be the best way to put it. <laughs> um, and the way leveling works is um, story battles, they do not level with you. The enemies don't level with you. But at random encounters will. So there's a fine line between over-leveling and leveling just enough. Let go of me. I think the princess is getting captured. Damn. <laughs> there she goes. Who's that? Somebody stealing her. Why should I listen to you? What an annoying princess. Ooh, <laughs> right in the gut. There's a lot of that, too. A lot of gut punches. <gasps> Chocobo. Chocobo. Wait. Don't blame us, blame yourself or God. Oh God, <laughs> oh God. Delita? I always called him Delita, you can call him whatever. You're alive, Delita? But why are you in Galtana's troops? Why? So, we know that person that just stole the princess, but how do we know them? Well. Let's go back in time. <laughs> way back. Not way back, but back. We're no longer the uh, powerhouse we were in that fight. Lolita's name appears for the first time a year before the Lion War broke out. God, I gotta wait. <laughs> the text is slow, and I can't speed it up. But I wanted to play the OG version, because that's what I grew up playing. Many soldiers who returned from the war had no jobs. Little. <laughs> Ma. N. E. <laughs> and even less loyalty to the ground. <laughs> Many became thieves. Many soldiers who returned from war had no jobs, little money, and even less loyalty to the crown. Oh, well, I missed it. Okay. At that time, robbery and murder were uh, commonplace in Ivalice. Many heroes and wizards came out of there. And Garland was no exception either. Chapter one. Let's get started. This is really, okay, we're starting. That was the tutorial battle. Now it's time to start. So we've, we've gone back in time from where we just were. We will return there later in the game. It'll be a while, <laughs> but we'll get there. Heard another wagon bound when where Igros was attacked. Must have been the Death Corps. The Death Corps. Everything has a cool name. Something starting. Know anything, Delita? <gasps> there he is. No, but I can guess. What do you mean? Prince Larg's coming to town. Prince Larg? Why? Not only Larg, but Marquis Elmdor of Limberry, too. That's news. It's a, not an official visit, is it? There are danger warp zones everywhere in Ivalice. 
The Hokuto Knights are in full operation, but suffering from a shortage of men. So they need us cadets. Fall in! You have a mission. As you know, barbarians are rapidly increasing here in Galleon. A traitor's death corps detests the royal family. We cannot overlook them. We will begin exterminating these traitors by order of our master. Largs knights stationed at the Egros Castle and many other groups will participate. Your duty is to support the flank. Specifically, you'll go to Egros and help guard it. Cadets, ready your swords. A gang of tortured thieves is trying to sneak into this town. We begin preparations now to keep them out of town. Come with me. This is the front line of operations. That's all. Prepare immediately. Okay. Yes, we'll say. Uh, I didn't save. <laughs> it's okay. It's an emulator. Technically, I could save, but I think I'll be all right. Okay, so this is where you set your team up. Um, so you have multiple different characters. Uh, throughout my team, I have a bunch of different people that I can use. And you want to make sure that you balance things in a way that makes sense. So, um, squires are kind of like a, just your basic combat person. Um, chemists are your healers. And we have a couple of squires and a couple, a couple of healers. So I also want to look at stats like Brave and Faith. The higher those are, the better the character is, really. That's the simplest way to put it. So 64. and Okay, so I think we're going to go with... Uh, Kane here, the chemist. Uh, we're going to set them there. And then we're going to get some squires. Uh, Bernard's looking pretty cool. And maybe... Uh, you know, let's go Esmeralda here. Do we need more than one healer? Uh, you know what? Maybe so, because they can turn into mages later. That's like the next logical step for them. So we should be fine. This is, you know, this isn't a difficult fight. I just have to remember, in this game, circle is accept, and X is uh, back out. And I messed that up when it was like, do you want to save? But I'll probably just save through the emulator. We'll kill every one of you. This is the default um, battle music, and it kicks ass. Da, da, da. So we also have characters. You noticed in the first fight that there are characters that we just cannot control. Um, Delita is one of those characters. We can't really do much with him. He just kind of does his own thing. And we can aid him by healing him or, you know, whatever. But other than that, he's just going to kind of do what he wants. The fun fact is we're going to do the same thing. So my key, my goal usually is to take out the chemists as quick as possible because they're a pain in the ass. Because they're just going to heal the other characters. This chick's throwing rocks. Ow. Alright, my turn. I don't know if it's good that... Uh, it said don't patronize... Um, bull, bull... I don't know... Be old. I'm going to have to figure out how to say that before the next video. So I am, uh, well, you'll see. Silence, surrender, or die in obscurity. But your spoil punks like you'll never beat us. Well, joke's on you. Uh, we will. And here I come, dipshit. <laughs> um, so it's like we could... Yeah, forget it. Let's just get over here. Okay, so you notice I don't have half the stuff I used to. Uh, uh, okay. I don't want to do that. We're just going to attack this idiot. Take that. Okay, I got a job level up. We're going to look into this stuff. Um, is that a, that's the, the other chemist? Oh, no, that's not a chemist. That's just a squire. Okay. okay we're going to go up after this one. Okay. So since I can't actually... The only thing I have is dash, and that's not going to do anything. You'll notice that she's at a higher level than me. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't actually attack her because she's not in the square next to me, and I can't do anything skill-wise to get up to her. So, I'm just going to have to wait. It's, it's key to kind of face your opponent um, when you're moving, so that way they uh, 
if they come after you, it gives, like, you try and leave room to where they can't um, hurt you or, like, get right behind you or anything. Okay, it seems like right now I think we're okay. So we're just going to wait here. We're going to send our squires this way for now. This will also prevent the uh, squire there from um, getting on this side of me. We're going to keep this healer. We're going to keep this chemist over here to help with this side of things. You know what? We'll put them over here and face uh, this way. Okay, Delita, knock him out. There it is. Easy peasy. And this early in the game, characters don't have Phoenix Downs. Um, so I don't have to worry about them getting back up. And if this fight takes long enough, you'll see another fun aspect of this game, which is um, once you see the three above that character's head, um, after a certain amount of turns, and by turns I mean everybody on the map goes three times, that character will disappear and become a crystal or an item that you can pick up. So because I waited with this character, my turn, my turn in the order of people going was expedited because I didn't actually do anything. So sometimes it's beneficial to wait um, instead of like wasting time, you know, doing something particular. Okay. Um, so I could move this chemist here and attack. Well, let's just do that. That's fine. Because this chemist can attack. We can wait right here. Because the guy up there... And you know what? We could actually... We could honestly come up here and just try and hit... I think we can kill this person here. We got a 95% chance to do 15, which is one more than her health. Nailed it. Down. Easy peasy. We're doing well. Um, you know what? I think it's safe to just keep... You know what? We're going to put him put our chemist here just to keep them safe. All right, Ramza. You're going to come over here and take this we're going to take this chemist out cuz I don't want them healing anything. You don't really have to worry about dodging or anything too much in the beginning. Why do you go down there? Eh, whatever. Okay, so again, um it's like I can get my chemist to... Unfortunately, my chemist isn't really doing anything, so it's like I could... Somebody hurt? Okay, you're hurt. Uh, here, take a potion. Get you some job points. And a level up. Very nice. All right, Delita, come over here and delete this. Oh, my God, Delita. What the... Just come over here and hit, hit them. What are you doing? This is the problem with characters that you can't control. Sometimes they make terribly stupid decisions. Um, in this case, it's Delita being a dumbass. All right, so now it's time to come on down here and take this guy down. Nice. Wait. And now the chemist has moved away. Well, that's okay. We're just going to keep... There is benefit to them healing themselves in the sense that I get to keep wailing on them. <laughs> you know. Okay, so I can't go... So we're just going to have to wait here. I'm doing my best early on to not just blow through all the options. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. But I am very attuned to what's going on. Like, I could just blow through this combat. But I'm also trying to... Uh, you know, explain a couple of things early on. That guy's just kind of hanging out. I'm going to smack this guy to the side here. Excellent. Alright, we're going to throw another potion here. Keep everybody healed up. It's unnecessary, really, because I am just going to kill this guy and no one will get any closer to her, but I want my chemist to be getting experience. All right, Delita, just move in front. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, fine. So 
so... Very good job, Bernard. Bernard. Okay, I'm gonna bait my chemist out here to get this guy to come out this way. And because there's a body on this side, uh, they cannot come onto this. Okay, see, I baited him. Uh, you fell for it. <laughs> so we can just hit him here. And now, uh, you know what? Uh, this chemist can take another hit, so we're just going to... And it doesn't... Uh, as long as they don't turn into a crystal, I get to keep them. But it does have permadeath. If they turn into a crystal, they're gone forever. Which is kind of cool. Uh, maybe we'll see it in this combat. Why is this idiot just throwing rocks? I mean, that was a good hit. Nice, nice job there, dude. All right, we're going to take this out. So you're not going to see the crystals this turn, but we will see them. Easy peasy. Why do you continue committing acts like robbery? You wouldn't have died this way if you'd led an honest life. Combat over. Now we get some things. 500 gil. 2,000 gil, a mithril knife, and a phoenix down, and a potion. Very cool. So we'll give the mithril knife to one of our chemists, probably. Would be the best. Anyways, we took those guys out. That was cool. What's next? Ah, the world map. When you move, place the cursor on a map symbol you want to go to and press the circle button. When you're in castles, towns, etc., put the cursor on the map symbol and press the circle button. The command shop will appear for buying items. If you don't understand, press the select button for a help message. All right, we'll press the triangle to get to our menu. Where are we off to? Oh, God. Uh, Mandelia Plains is next. So let's look at our menu. We'll do a little more explaining here, and then uh, we'll see where we're at. Oh, God, that music. It just... It, it, it hits a part of my soul. All right, so um, here's all our stats. Here's all the jobs we can be. Sorry, I got to remember the buttons. So we can um, equip certain things. So it's like I could give him the mithril knife. It's not going to do anything. Um, he's got his clothes here. Lots of this stuff we can change. Uh, I can go through all my different characters. So it's like here's Kane. We're going to give Kane the mithril knife. And you'll see that um, their weapon power goes up by one because it's in their right hand. Very cool. Good job, Kane. Very pog. All right. So, let's go to Ramza. And let's go to uh, Ability. And let's go to... So, we can set abilities here. Like, I can put Item here. Um, you have Reactive Commands, Refresh Commands, um, and Movement Abilities, which just kind of up your ability to move across the map. So, let's go to Learn. Look at all these different things we have right now. So... I'm currently a squire, which means I'm getting job points in this particular job. Whenever I change a job, I start getting job points in that class, that job, and no longer in the other. Um, but since we're a squire, we got some, you know, some job points for that one. And there is a cheat you can do in the original vo version. I won't do it, but um, you can basically learn everything for free uh, for certain classes. Um, okay, so we have all this stuff. We have Gill, which I think is pretty good. I have 265 to spend. Um, I could get Counter Tackle, Equip Axe, Monster Skill, Defend, Gain JP Up is usually pretty good. That's probably what I'm going to go with, or Move Plus One. Um, so I'm probably going to go with Gain JP Up um, because it's just a, a Move Plus One will be my next one. So let's go ahead and set our, uh, not Move Plus, our Gain JP Up. So now I'm just by default getting more job points uh, during combat which is pretty cool. So we can do that for our others as well. He doesn't have enough um, because Bernard didn't really do diddly squat in the last fight. So let's see what Kane can do. They didn't earn much either because they weren't really doing anything. You also notice you have kind of a default set amount just as you gain new classes. Um, here's Esmeralda. What does Esmeralda do? Nothing. Um, you'll notice also that um, Ramza and Delita kind of just and other like main story characters 
just move a lot faster as far as growth goes compared to your default units like these, um, who will become great friends of ours uh, as we go. All right, well, uh, this has been a little bit of Final Fantasy Tactics, and let me tell you something that I've said a gazillion times already. I love this game. I love this game so much. It's one of my favorite games of all time, and I want to play it more, and I'm probably maybe just going to play it on the channel. I hope you enjoy this game, or you enjoy the playthrough that I did so far, because there is a lot to this game. There's a lot of map left. Look at all this that we got. To, I mean, we cover all of this as we go, um, sometimes going back to places multiple times. Um, the story is diverse, it's deep, it's expansive, the characters are many, um, the combat just gets insane. I'm so excited, so I hope you're excited too. Please let me know, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff down below to let me know that you love this. Uh, I would really appreciate it. So thank you for watching. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. Bye-bye.